Are you tired of your security camera footage being grainy or fuzzy? Do you sometimes play back recordings only to find them pixelated and not capturing the details you want? Today's video is for you. Keep listening to find out how you can, with a few simple steps, get clarity in your security camera footage and capture the info you need clearly. Hi, I'm Jorge Ramirez with Safe and Sound Security, the place where professionals turn for security system information and solutions. CCTV security cameras are great, but if you have one, you know you're going to deal with digital noise. With sound, noise refers to audible interruptions. With video, noise is referring to visual disruptions or distortions. Think of a grainy picture quality or black spots in the video. In this video, we're going to cover digital noise reduction and the ways you can eliminate or at least greatly decrease the digital noise in your security cameras. First, we need to understand what causes digital noise reduction. No matter how excellent and low light capable your security cameras are, there will inevitably be some digital noise when shooting video surveillance footage in the dark. When it comes to electronic communication, noise happens. It's an unavoidable part of audio or video recordings. Essentially, it's just static. Interference in the video signal that manifests as white and black spots in the frame and gives it a grainy appearance. Poor lighting makes it difficult for the camera to distinguish colors and contrast, resulting in pixels in the image becoming blended together instead of rendered properly and with detail. Image noise also occurs when poor illumination causes the light in the image to be too close to the level of noise found naturally in the sensor. This makes it harder for the sensor to capture the image clearly. Noise is also more obvious at larger resolutions because the sensor size for larger resolutions requires more light and the larger image makes it more apparent. To combat this, security cameras come equipped with different kinds of digital noise reduction or DNR. There are two kinds of DNR, 2D and 3D. Let's talk about how each of these techniques work to reduce noise in surveillance video images, starting with 2D DNR or temporal noise reduction. 2D digital noise reduction or 2D DNR is a form of temporal noise reduction. Temporal noise reduction works by analyzing each pixel in each frame as part of a sequence, comparing each frame's pixel as part of that overall sequence, looking for artifacts, objects, and pixels that do not appear consistently from frame to frame. By doing this, it's able to select pixels that are most likely to represent noise and isolate and repair these pixels. 2D DNR or temporal noise reduction is an effective noise reduction method for basic purposes, but there are a few drawbacks with using it for surveillance. First, this method works on low resolution images. Once your video starts to get above 4 megapixels to 8 megapixels, a 2D DNR will not be as effective as 3D digital noise reduction. And if there is movement in the area being corrected, which is more likely in surveillance feeds, temporal noise reduction is prone to creating bad motion blur, affecting video clarity and quality, and making surveillance difficult. This is where 3D digital noise reduction comes in. 3D DNR or 3D digital noise reduction is different from the 2D method because it relies on spatial noise reduction. Unlike temporal noise reduction, spatial noise reduction uses an algorithm to compare the pixels in each frame individually and then compares these frames to each other to see what pixels change or move. This allows the algorithm to distinguish and isolate pixels representing noise and removes them from the image. 3D DNR or spatial noise reduction is better at removing the grainy appearance that low light video tends to take on and is far better for videos with a lot of motion. The frame-on-frame -frame method of comparison allows it to detect motion more accurately. As a result, 3D DNR does not create motion blur in the images, and moving objects do not leave motion trails behind them. The 3D DNR method also works better with larger, higher resolution video, which needs the extra power and capability to get clear surveillance footage. But what if you could use both 2D and 3D DNR, getting the benefits of each? Good news, you can. Some powerful high-end cameras now combine 2D and 3D DNR into a single dynamic algorithm that can create ultra-clear images with the lowest amounts of image noise possible. 3D DNR works better for areas of the frame containing motion because it is more effective at reducing noise without creating motion blur. 2D DNR is more efficient at decoding and cleaning up the static parts of the frame. 
Together, they create crisp, clear, and dynamic low-light images that allow for effective surveillance as part of a comprehensive CCTV system. The best of both makes one powerful solution for reducing digital noise in your security cameras. So now that you know that you can fix the digital noise you've been seeing on your security cameras, let's try and figure out which option is best for you. Are you looking for the basic 2D DNR with temporal noise reduction? If you're using low resolution cameras, this would be a good place to start. Or are you looking for a more robust noise reducer like the 3D DNR with spatial noise reduction? This is better for high resolution cameras or areas where there is a lot of movement and you want to capture clean recordings. And if you're looking to get the best of both, that's an option too. If you like this video and it helped you learn more about digital noise reduction in security cameras, make sure to like the video and click the subscribe button below. Also, if you'd like to browse some of our written content or have a security project you'd like to talk to us about, head over to GetSaveAndSound.com. And now, I'd like to turn it over to you. Do you have any comments or questions about 2D DNR or 3D DNR? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now.